All right, so all we can do at this point is just wait and cross our fingers and fight with this tiny baby stump that I hate so much. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Gang Z in Eco with me, Mojo. And today, you're probably wondering who won the election. Well, nobody, I guess. Um, I guess what happened yesterday was there was like just a few hours till the election was due to conclude. And I went out to eat and play some games with friends. And when I came home, that time frame should have expired, so I went on the site to see if I had won or who had won. I was obviously very invested in the results of this election. And it's just not there. There's no current election. There's no record of a prior election because there's a place for that. It will show you the past elections, and there's just nothing there. It just completely vanished. So I think... If I had to guess, <laughs> it's, it's a probably just a glitch in the game. I don't think elections are fully implemented. But what I kind of like to think is it's a conspiracy theory. You know, Ty Designs is up to something. He's the one who's invested in preventing fair elections. But more likely, it's just the game. It's an alpha. But don't worry, I'm not going to give up. I'm still going to be someone who contributes to their maximum ability to ability to this community whether that's by being mayor or just being a great carpenter and speaking of skill points I have quite a few of them and as I've mentioned a couple times there's a couple times there's not like a ton of good I can do left in carpentry in terms of you know point expenditures and until couple more things are implemented in civics I, I don't really have a lot of places to go with that either so it was suggested to me that there's a lot of veins to go into in terms of engineering and engineering does sound interesting to me you know there's refining mechanics industry electronics computer science and civil engineering now for me I think um, a lot of these sound interesting in fact all of them do but I have like a little bit of a head start on primitive mechanics, uh, or should I just say mechanics? So I was thinking, um, oh wow, you can get your uh, windmill and water wheel costs down. Um, I was thinking I might do this kind of stuff. Um, I think Jenny B is working on refining. Industry does sound interesting. I don't, I don't know what's down this tree. I would love to know. And then electronics also very interesting. I think Cube mentioned he was going to work on that. I know Doll and I think Fox are going to go down deep in computer science and I'm sure someone has mechanics covered but it's never a bad thing when you're working together for people to double up. It's just more options and more faster expenditures of points and stuff like that. So I think I, think I might settle on mechanics and um, I'm going to be honest, I, I do not know what this entails. I don't. Let's see here. Um, so I have level zero. Level one would unlock um, gearbox and mechanics assembly speed, mechanics component speed. Then we're eventually going to have combustion engines, generators, copper wiring, pistons, servo eventually. Wow. So yeah, it looks like a lot of people, Cube, um, Fox, and Generic have already at least leveled this up a little bit. And then um, we got all the speed stuff, efficiency stuff. Okay, I mean, this could be worth looking into. Has anyone done any research on industry, I wonder? I should go check. I should go see what it would take to get this unlocked because before I make a final decision, I want to be fully informed. And that's not possible in this game. There's just everything's so subject to change. It's an alpha and... I mean, the wiki is not completely filled out. It's not possible to go into this with all the facts. But I want to know as many as I can, because if I can actually unlock something for the community through research, I think that's the biggest help of all, because we're going to need all of these at some point. So, okay, let's go into the research table and see what that would take. Okay, it looks like what we would need is 30 pieces of steel 
and 10 gearbox for vehicles. Um, I know that Vortec just today started on, a, I think it's a blast furnace, and in some way that will enable us to come up with the steel. Uh, I'm not clear on and gearbox stuff yet. So I'll have to do yet more research. My, my answer has just yielded yet more questions, but we're gonna do some good here. I think it's gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to learn a lot of new things and that's always a good thing. Okay, so I'm borrowing Jenny's machine shop because I figured maybe gearboxes would be in here and they are. So I would be able to make something like that and a gear, of course. <laughs> See, this is how you cannot just research and do industry. It's never that simple. I need casting one. I don't know where that is. And then mechanics is also a function of engineering. In order just to get the gearboxes to do the research. I think I have enough points to go around to make that not an impossibility or at least a soon possibility. Um, okay, let's go look for casting one and mechanics one and see where we get on this tree here. Okay, so um, engineering and then mechanics. I have mechanics zero. I think mechanics one will get you. Like it says, that gearbox, that's 50 points compared to what we have right now. That's not a big deal. So let's just go ahead and bite the bullet. Um, now, where would I get casting? Ah, oh, finally found it. So we're in the smithing tab, and it's under metalworking here, and um, if we were to level it up to one level, we would have casting and metalworking speed. That's only 10 points, so I think that's worth it, right? So let's go affirm with the table that I've done the right things before I skip off gleefully. Okay, casting one. Do I still not have it? See, the blue goes away when you can do it. Maybe I have to put yet another point in that. Um, okay, so we're going to go back to smithing. It was in here. And... I don't understand. Let's just try to put the 14 points in. So you think that would be it, right? So let's check the table. See, still casting one. Obviously, I'm barking up the wrong tree, and I just don't know. I'm going to have to consult the Discord or the web because this is getting all kinds of confusing for me, and I'm probably overthinking it. I know there's a simple solution to this, and I'm just not. I just haven't eaten my Wheaties today. So let me go get a big bowl of those, and I'll get right back to you. I have to wonder if this is the holdup. I just came straight to the research table just to check before I asked, and... I think this casting skill book could be part of it. Now, at only 10 bricks and 15 iron ingots, I could ask Doll and Fox and Vortac for help. I think I'll do that. I think they would like to help. But also, what I really wanted to do is go ahead and get that industry researched so I could go ahead and start pouring a lot of stuff into it, but we're never going to get there without casting because we need those gearboxes, so that's going to be the first step. Well, the good news is we don't have to put any like points into industry and in research in order to actually start. You know how there's like refining research, metallurgy research. You have to like open up your skill tree and go into the research tab sometimes just to qualify to research it and then bring the materials and make the book. So at least for industry, we won't need to do that. So that's good. Okay. In order to research casting, though, we would need some amount of research. So we need casting research one. So what we'll need to do is go into our skills here, into the research tab, and look for casting research one. I have a feeling it will probably be in the metal kind of tab here. Um, so in order to get tool research out, Metalworking, steelworking, casting. Okay, so that's 150 points in and of itself. So in order to get there, we'd have to put 25 points here, 50 points here, 10 here, and 150 here. That is quite a few points. <laughs> um, I, I kind of need to do it though, right? What do you do in a situation like this? 
See, because it's tempting to ask someone who's already done a lot of this research to just go ahead and pop 150 into the casting research so I can do it. But asking them to spare 150 points for something I want to do is kind of bold. Uh, points are basically just time, you know? And time is the one resource that it's, you know, you can't get it back. You can give someone all your bricks and hope that they'll give you a bunch of wood in return someday, but time is something you'll never get back. And everyone's working against the clock to prevent this meteor. Am I just gonna have to bite the bullet, guys? I think I might. Whoa. Hang on a sec. I just realized when you hover over this, it looks like Biffa's already done or is eligible to do the casting research. I wonder if I gave him all the materials if he would be willing to research the book for us. There's no harm in asking. I've hung out with Biffa before. He's like a nice, reasonable, and hilarious guy, so... I'm just gonna ask him and then we'll wait to see what he says. Okay, I went ahead and asked Biffa and... Hopefully he'll get back to us soon because I'm really excited to start. I think this would be a cool new little adventure for me and, you know, the more ways I can come up with to help us stop the meteor, the better. I'm willing to contribute, contribute, contribute. I want us to get there. I don't want this planet to burn. We've put so much time and love into it. So if by being a casting researcher I can help, or rather by Biffa being a casting researcher I can help, I'm down for it. Holy wow, Doll has been busy. This is coming right along. Wow. Uh, so the reason I came down here was to check out the store and see what it would take to get 10 pieces of brick. Um, all right, so, ooh, brick roof, wow. Um, he's out of bricks. <laughs> he is out of bricks, but it would take good bit of lumber or even a better bit of logs to get it not that that would be unfair at all um so we'll just have to be patient we're gonna have to to wait it out oh but we did hear back from biffa he says sure he'll do the research um he's not on till tomorrow morning though but he'll take a look so i think what we need to do is between now and tomorrow morning um I don't know what time zone, so ASAP, I need to have the materials somewhere he can find them so that he can do the research. That would be fantastic. So if we're gonna have to wait on the bricks, um, I guess I could go check out Ingots by Vortac because he and I kind of have a swap going on anytime he needs anything remotely related to carpentry. I just hand it to him anything I need. Anytime I need something that's kind of metally, he's right there. Um, but maybe in his absence I can go ahead and just use his store. I think it would be nice and stimulating for the economy. Uh, the only problem is he primarily just wants food and bricks, which is things I cannot give him. There's, there's a reason there's no lumber or anything accepted in this store, and that's because he has free unlimited lumber. So as you can see, there is sometimes a downside to giving away everything for free, but... I know I could probably get some ingots out of him, easy peasy. I just have to be patient, like with the bricks. Gotta wait for a bricklayer and an ingot maker to get online. Bitha suggested that I put a chest next to the research table and put all the research elements into said chest and put a little sign next to it so that he'll know absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt that that is for that purpose and not anyone else's ingots or bricks. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I think that's a great idea. And so we'll make a little wood sign, small wood sign I think is more appropriate, and a chest. And we'll go ahead and set those up in anticipation of getting the bricks and the ingots. Okay, here we have it. Biffa, please use these materials to research casting. You're my only hope, Mojo. The only problem is, of course, that this chest is still empty, but we're working on it. So if I'm gonna go around begging Vortec for ingots, um, I think it would be prudent of me to at least replace them with ores with which to make more iron ingots. So I'm gonna go down into his mine and see if I can do some of the grunt work for him. I know he would appreciate it. I know he would just give me the ingots if I just asked because we have such like a good back and forth kind of trade system go. Oh, he's been busy. This is nice. Ooh, this might be a pleasant experience. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's completely different in here. This is 
Nice, war attack. Well done. These, uh... Are these chunks iron or... I don't... You know, I mostly come down here just to dig up stone because I make a lot of roads. I think these are iron, right? Let me see if I can shove it in a chest and see. So if I put that, yeah, it's iron ore. Okay, great. So um, let's put together about 15 of those and bring them to the surface. And then that will make Vortec a lot more pliable to my demands, I think. The other thing is I'm afraid to dig around in here. I don't know what... His intent is he's definitely doing a big overhaul, though, that's for sure. I do know that he's not going to cover all this up, though, because look at all the free gold. So if there's some ore around here, I could probably dig up that without making any problems. All right, I have just received word from Dahl that he is willing to give me 10 bricks in exchange for a windmill. And I believe I have a spare windmill in my carpentry table, so... I am most agreeable to this trade, and unfortunately, I don't think there's many things in this game for which a uh, water wheel or windmill is applicable yet for power. You know, most things want tallow or petroleum or something, so he mostly, as I understand it, just wants it for decoration because they do look cool as crap. They look fantastic. Uh, I think the only thing that uses them at this time that I can think of is the milling table. You know, I think that's something that Jenny B uses, and you saw that water wheel. That's that's how he's generating power for one of his tables, and like I said, I think it's the milling table, but I don't know that there's, like, a lot of functionality to windmills and water wheels beyond that, at least at this point in the alpha. All right, Dahl is not available right this second, so he said that I could take this windmill and put it in the chest right by his house here. And as soon as he's on again, he will drop off the bricks. So that is fantastic. Hopefully that's before Biffa gets on again. If not, Biffa will understand. He'll eventually do it when I eventually come up with the stuff. But he's probably going to be really confused when he logs on to a sign that's like, Use this stuff! Make, make a book! And there's just no stuff there. <laughs> but hopefully, I'm going to try really hard to get this worked out. And you know what? It's going to be fine either way. Um, I kind of forgot what I was doing with the iron. I need to go down and uh, grab that. I never brought it up, although I did harvest quite a bit of it. So um, let me go down to Vortex Bane and uh, collect up some iron to bring to the surface. I guess we can leave it right in here for him. Hopefully he doesn't mind. And uh, let's go get... A little bit more and then we'll be good all right so all we can do at this point is just wait and cross our fingers and fight with this tiny baby stump that I hate so much <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching another episode of gangzy in eco I'll see you next time